The NBA playoffs have officially started. And when I say officially, I mean officially. I'm pretty sure there's a game going on right now. So, you might be wondering why I didn't make this video earlier. Well, the plan was last night, so the one seeds wouldn't have known who they're playing. That's kind of tough. Also, if you, if you if you know what's going on, my power has been really bad. So, I had to schedule videos pre in advance because I didn't know when my power would be back on. So, I, I posted a video yesterday when I would have rather posted this one then. But, nonetheless, we're going to be talking about the NBA playoffs, uh, some of my predictions, and what I think the most important things are, the key points in series, players, things of that nature. Uh, and we're, we're just going to get into this. I'm going to choose who I think will win. I might do how many games I think it is in. But, obviously, that's it comes with a grain of salt and all that stuff. So... Um, if this is your first time here, my name is John. This is the Sports Advocate. Give me a like, give me a dislike, give me some criticisms down below. Uh, give me your choice of who you think will win a specific series or the entire playoffs. And in this video, I'm just going to talk about the first round of the playoffs. I might sarcastically do my predictions for the rest of it based on my predictions in the first round, but I'm definitely going to do another video when the second round rolls around. But yeah, get and subscribe because I have plenty of content like this coming out daily at this point. But let's just go and get into this. I'm gonna look at the bracket on my phone. I think we're gonna go one seed, one seed like this instead of doing all east, all the west. And I will tell you, I don't have a whole bunch of upsets. I don't. Well, do I? If there's only eight teams, I guess I have a fair fair share of upsets. But I don't know if one is actually considered an upset. My cat's making every noise possible right now. First things first, Miami Heat, Atlanta Hawks. The Hawks just won last night with Trey Young crazy push in the second half. I tweeted out Trey Young in the second half, maybe the best player in the entire world. Go follow my Twitter, T Sports Advocate, capital T S N A. But he really does. He I think he had fifty. He was he was a part of fifty points his scoring and what he assisted on in the second half that's more than all the Cavs had in the entire second half he was a huge reason why they were able to win it looked like they were going to get completely blown out through that first quarter their points were half of what the Cavs were but they found a way to win and now they play the Miami Heat who is definitely a way better team than the Cavaliers but I don't think they're as untouchable as a lot of people like to think that they are I do think the Atlanta Hawks with some Trey Young magic, end up taking the series to six. I think the Heat win four to two, but I think it ends up going to six. I think Jimmy Butler will find a way to use his um, bubble magic like he did against LeBron, and he'll score some crazy points when they need to and things like that. They're going to end up winning. I think Tyler Hero's going to miss part of the series, maybe all the series. He's on the injury report, but I think the Heat win it. They have Kyle Lowry, Bam Adebayo. Jimmy Butler, their defense is amazing, and the Atlanta Hawks defense is not that great. So, I expect a Heat win here. That's not much of a surprise. Next up, number one and number eight in the West, obviously, is... I don't need to look at this. Phoenix Suns against the Pelicans. I think this is the only sweep I have in the playoffs. The Suns are going to sweep them. The Suns played so well when it was just Devin Booker without Chris Paul. They, they were playing amazing. Now they have Chris Paul back. Now they're on a revenge tour. I expect the Suns sweep. I expect the Suns to do extremely well here. I mean, you have Aiden, Booker, and Chris Paul, along with Bridges and plenty of other. But, yeah, so I expect a sweep here. I don't think that's too much of a surprise. Now we're talking the two and the seven. I don't need to look at this. I think I have them all memorized. Two and seven in the east. Boston Celtics, New York Nets, New York is that, I definitely, that's definitely not right. It's not New York Nets, is it? Brooklyn Nets. Duh. <laughs> um, This series is something. I, I knew the Nets were going to make it out of the play. And Ky, when you have Kyrie and Kevin Durant, they're going to find a way to win the game. And they'll definitely find a way to win the game in this Celtics series. I think they probably win two. But I think the, uh, it's tough. So, the Boston Celtics don't have Robert Williams. I think he's supposed to miss the whole series. He's injured. That's their center. He is 
phenomenal at defense, and that's what Celtics have been great at is being on defense since the new year has began. And I think the Celtics won the series because their defense and the Boston. Uh, yes, the Boston Celtics have really good defense, and the Brooklyn Nets obviously not so much. Even with Robert Williams injured, the Time Lord, even with him injured, the Brooklyn Nets don't have a lot of center or power forward, like great depth, I guess. Kevin Durant sometimes a power forward, but like their centers are not anything like just a bunch of older guys. I mean, LaMarcus Aldridge, he's not going to do a whole lot. Uh, Blake Griffin, he's not going to do a whole lot. So I expect a defensive heavy series here with Boston coming out on top and uh, six games, six games. I could see it going five to seven. I think the Nets end up having to win at least one or two just because just because KD will will their way to it, whether he drops 50 or whatever. Next up, the 2 and the 7 in the West is going to be, let me try and think of it, it's going to be the Grizzlies against the Timberwolves. I, I don't need this. Grizzlies against Timberwolves. If you don't know, I'm a big Timberwolves fan. I like their roster. I'm not a big Timberwolves fan. I'm a big fan of their roster this year. Ant-Man, Cat, who is... Top three, top five center in this entire league. Huge Russell fan, always have been. This team, Patrick Beverly, I don't know. They acted like they won the finals by just winning the play-in, and I, that was a little much. I think the Grizzlies win this pretty easily in five games. This could be a sweep, but I think probably in five games they end up winning it because, I mean, when John Morant was out, look how good this Grizzlies team still was. I think they beat the Suns without John Morant. So, I see no reason why this would be a super close series against a team like the Timberwolves. I do hope the Timberwolves do well, but I I'm I got to prefer the Grizzlies in the series and I think I like the Grizzlies more because John Morant. I wish the Bulls would get him somehow. There's no way of it happening, but also uh Steven Adams fan. I I've been a fan of him since OKC. I like the Grizzlies a lot. I like Timberwolves a lot. Both of them, like a lot. I will choose to go watch their games, especially this year. But I think the Grizzlies kind of get this pretty easy, maybe in five games or so. Next up, we have the three and the six in the East. <clears throat> uh, I have a whole video on this. You should go and check that. I'm going to pop it up on the eye right here. Um, Bulls versus Bucks. I have a whole like 20-minute video on what I think of this series. I'm not going to go super in depth. I think it's a 4 2 Bucks series win. The Bulls are going to find a way to win too, even though they've had a terrible record against good teams. But yeah, go check out my video if you want to learn more on my opinions on that. I'll have that popping up here on the eye. Um, next up, we have the three and the six in the West. I do need the thing for this three and six. Oh, uh, Warriors, Golden State Warriors against the Denver Nuggets. Steph Curry. We don't know. He's expected to miss game one, possibly game two, with his injury that he got uh, later on in the season. The Nuggets, not going to get Jamal Murray back, not going to get Porter back. It's just the Joker. Again, like it's been all year long, and that's not an issue. This is my first upset of the playoffs. I have Golden State losing, even though they did phenomenal year round, even though they still have Draymond even though they still have Clay and they'll likely get Steph back in time. I think they win because they don't have Wiseman, so their center is going to be tough. The Joker plays every single position out there. I think he will find a way to get his team the series win. I think it's still going to be a six-game series. This could be a seven-game series. The Nuggets are very fun to watch in the playoffs. If Jamal Murray could come back, this would be a amazing series to watch but I do have the Nuggets winning this series in probably six or so next up we have the what is it four four and five in the east 76ers and Toronto this is maybe my toughest pick in the entire playoffs if I'm being honest Toronto is hard to match up against they play a different form of basketball I feel like and ever since they won the championship with Kawhi, they've just always been this kind of weird team that will win a game when they're not supposed to. They have Fred Van Vliet. They have Pascal Siakam. Oh, 
gosh. I think this is a seven-game series. Who do I think wins it? It's going to depend on Joel Embiid. James Harden struggles in the playoffs. Maybe he turns around now. But it's going to come down to can Joel Embiid will his team to a win here. They're always getting knocked out too early in the playoffs for how good their team is. Will it happen again? I don't know. I It's a seven-game series, so I could go either way on it. I think just because I'm not a big fan of the 76ers, I'm going to say Toronto wins this in seven, and I don't think that's a bad opinion. You could go either way with this. I have Toronto in seven on this. I don't think I need to say much more. They just find a way to win weird games. And they rallied at the end of the year to get out of the play-in and get to the five seed. And yeah, I have Toronto in seven. Lastly, the very last series in the first round, the four and the five in the West is Dallas Mavericks against the Utah Jazz. The Jazz are always super fun to watch in the playoffs, but they always do way less than expected because they're super high seed. This year it's different. They dropped to the five and did they do it so that they weren't worn out or were they just playing poor? We don't really know. But the Mavericks don't know when Lucas come back because he got injured in their last game of the series. Why in the season? Why was he playing? I don't know. Hopefully not another Derrick Rose incident where he gets injured when he's one of the best players in the entire league because he definitely is. If Luka misses more than two games, if Luka misses more than one game, Jazz win this easily in five or six. If Luka only misses one game, this definitely goes to seven. And who wins it? I don't know. Luka will find a way to score 15 in at least one game and will his team to a win. So I think Luka, I think Luka can do that twice in the series. It's definitely going to be a six or seven game series. I don't think this is a sweep in any way. Donovan Mitchell is so fun to watch. He always plays really good in the playoffs. <clears throat> Rudy Gobert is one of the best defenders in the entire league. I, a lot of times we see people go at him. And we're like, oh he's not that good. But when, when he's getting blown up on it's because he's out on the perimeter. And that's not how he plays. He's one of the best defenders because how good he is in the paint and around it. Oh it's so tough with the Luka injury. If Luka misses a lot of time, Jazz win this easily. If Luka misses one game and comes back, this is a seven-game series, I think. And this is another one where I could go either way. I think the Jazz, I think this is another upset, but is this really an upset if Luka's injured? I don't know. If Mavericks win, I think I'll be just as happy as if the Jazz win. I like watching them both. I like watching as a team the Jazz more. I like watching as a player Luka way more. Luka's one of the funnest players to watch in the entire league. This is a seven-game series if Luka doesn't miss a lot of time. Okay, so now that I've talked about all the series, and I think I've gave a decent amount of input on my opinions on the matter. Who, uh, you know what, let's, let's, let's sarcastically go through my predictions. So, go back. We have the one in the eight seed. In the East, I chose Miami, and I chose Toronto. Miami versus Toronto. Gosh. Am I going to hate what I say here? Toronto. I think Toronto will find a way to make a run in some weird way. If they make it out of the first round, I think they can easily beat the Heat. Easily? No, not easily, but I think they definitely can beat the Heat. So, I have Toronto beating the Heat in round two. The Bucks versus the Celtics. I have the Bucks winning that. Bucks versus Toronto. I have Bucks winning that. Bucks are back in the finals in the East. Go over here. We have Phoenix versus the Jazz because I chose the Jazz. Oh, that's tough. If the Mavericks win round one, I think they could beat Phoenix. But I don't think the Jazz can. So I'll choose Phoenix. Denver versus Grizzlies. I think you have to choose the Grizzlies because how well they've played without Jaw. And Jaw's going to be playing. So Grizzlies versus Phoenix. Is this going to be a rematch? And we got to think about it. We have the Young Bucks. Not Bucks, but you know, in the Grizzlies. John Morant. A lot of people that don't have tons of experience. 
versus a team that has a lot of experience. How much will that matter? Devin Booker versus John Moran is exactly how this series would look when they're presenting on commercials. I think that's a seven-game series. And uh, whether I'm saying it because I don't want to repeat finals of last year or because I really believe it, I'm not sure, but I think Grizzlies. So it's Grizzlies versus Bucks. Who do I think wins that? The two seed against the three seed. Grizzlies, Bucks. Does Giannis solidify himself as one of the best players in the entire league, entire world, by going back to back? Possibly even winning MVP. Or does John Morant and this Grizzlies team that have been winning games when their best player is not on the court, do they find a way to win it? I think the Bucks. If if it were to come down to that, I think the Bucks, and it'd be on Giannis's back, and Giannis would get tossed into the best player in the world category, and would quickly start being in the goat debate if he continues to do this next year and the year after. So that there are my first round predictions, and then a sarcastic continuation. Let's go back over my first round predictions, uh, just just quickly here. Uh, Minnesota or Minnesota. Miami versus Atlanta Fal- Fal- Oh my gosh, I this is a struggle right now. Miami Heat versus Atlanta Hawks. Miami Heat in 5 or 6. We have Toronto Raptors against the 76ers. Toronto in 7. Bucks, Bulls, Bucks in 6. The Celtics Nets. I had Celtics in 6. Phoenix, uh, New Orleans, Phoenix swept. Dallas and Utah. I had a seven-game series with Utah on top. Uh, I had Nuggets beating the Warriors in five or six, depending on Steph. And I had Memphis in five or six against the Timberwolves. So, yeah, that there are all my predictions. And this is going to be such a fun playoff to work, but watch. Maybe one of the best in a very long time, maybe the best ever. I there could literally some of these series could be a bunch of sweeps or a ton of game sevens, and I would not be too shocked at it. So, with that being said, we're we're, we're gonna be done here. I'm not gonna rant too long because this whole video was a rant. I literally didn't have any stats or notes on my whiteboard, which I normally do. But my name is John. This is the Sports Advocate. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, I'm sure you'll enjoy most of my content. So why don't you go ahead and subscribe. I'll have that popping up for you here in a second. Um, go check out. What do I want you to go check out? You know what? I'm just going to do a suggested video to whatever side it puts on, left or right. I'm not sure. A suggested video for whatever YouTube algorithm thinks would be the best video for you. Um, at some point, I'll probably have my Boston Celtics and my Bulls videos pop up on the eye. Maybe go back and click those if you're interested in those when I was talking about it. I have a video for Boston on their how they how they turn around their season, which was crazy to think about. But yeah, give me a like, give me a dislike. Uh, comment down below who you think will win the finals, who do you think will be in the finals, and who your biggest first round upset is. Give me some criticisms down below also. And that will be all. So as always, I hope I taught you something. I hope I put a smile on your face. Hope I made you laugh. That's something that's really important to me, affecting someone else's life. And lastly, as always, be safe out there.